We can't get away from talking about bitwise operators without talking about order of operations. Just like with PEMDOG, it's going to divide before it adds, or it's going to do exponents before multiplication. There is an order in which the operators are going to work inside of Java. So what I've done is I've created a table here. It is actually just a subset of a larger table. And what it shows is the different bitwise operators we've talked about in their order in which they are used by the compiler. So the first we have the not or the complement, left shift, right shift, and logical right shift. On these three right here you can see that they're on the same level. So just like with add and subtract in um, PEMDAWS, it's not like you would do a left shift first because it's higher on the list. It's just shifts are all one category. Then what's interesting is it does the bitwise and first, XOR next, or last. And I've added boolean in here. So it does boolean and, and the logical or, or the boolean or. I wanted to show you a few examples of this in action. So if we had this right here, it would not do the or first, it would do the and. It would do 7 and 3, and then do whatever the result of that was, or 8. Same thing here. It's going to do the right shift first, then it's going to do the XOR. So it does 40, right shift 2, and then the XOR 7. Here, you have your shifts, and your shifts are going to do, so it's going to do 40, left shift 3, 50, right shift 2, and then do the OR operation. Here, it's going to do the NOT first, so it would do NOT 6, then it would do 9 and 7, then whatever the result of that is, it would say the result of this XOR, the result of not 6. Then finally it would do that or 8. And last but not least, you can always override order of operations by using parentheses. So if the parentheses were not here, it would be the same as this statement right here in equal 11. But because we're doing the OR first and then the AND, we get 3 as the result. Order of operations are very important to the Java language and you will find common mistakes or you will make mistakes if you choose to ignore them.